Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin for a runner 570 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the light button. Keep holding the button until you see the Garmin logo on the screen. And then you can release the button. One thing to mention, you can pair this watch in two ways. And the first way is to do it through the setup process. So basically if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the other way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up. Because you can set it up without uh, basically uh, pairing it with a phone. So basically you can go through the setup process without pairing it with a phone and then you can pair it later on. Also, maybe you want to switch the phones. You can also do that. So if, as you can see, my watch, my watch is has been reset to the factory default settings. So first I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings as well. Okay, so let's continue with the pairing. Once you turn on the watch and it's brand new or it's been reset, you will see the list of languages on the screen. You need to find the language you would like to use and then tap on it to select it. And as you can see, now we're being asked if you want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do that, so press the start button and the watch will enter the pairing mode. That's how it looks like. Basically, you have a QR code on the screen. And what we need to do is to download the Garmin Connect application on the iPhone we want to pair our watch with and then uh, use it to pair the devices together. One thing to mention before we continue is to that you need to have the internet connection of course and Bluetooth enabled for it to work. So once you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled, uh, open the app store on your iPhone, then tap on the search icon right here, then tap on the search bar and type in uh, Garmin Connect. And once you tap on search, on the list of results, you should see this application Garmin Connect with this icon. You can tap on it uh, and then tap on the get button to download and install it. Okay, let's wait until the application is done installing. I'm going to come back to you once it's done. Okay, and once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. And the app, you probably will see this pop up. If you see it, allow it because the Bluetooth devices are required. And then you will need to log in into a Garmin account. If you don't have an account, you can always tap on create account button right here to make a new one uh, and then use it to log in. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box right here. Oh, my bad, check the box, tap next and then uh, it will ask us to enter the email address and password. So give me a few seconds. Okay, and then we can tap on next to log in. And after you log in and you don't have any devices connected uh, to your account or your phone, it will start searching for the nearby devices uh, immediately. Uh, before that, we need to deal with the permission for the notifications. I'm gonna allow it. And as you can see, it's searching for the nearby devices and it detected our watch. So we can tap on connect it and then go further with the setup. And if it doesn't connect your, or rather detect your watch, um, it might be, uh, some something might be wrong. So I recommend to press back button to go back to this page and then press start again to re-enter the pairing mode and hopefully that will help. Another thing you can do if in the app you don't, it doesn't search for the devices immediately, you can tap on menu, uh, then you can find the Garmin devices and then tap on add device and it will start searching for the nearby devices. And then once it detects your watch, tap on connect it. Tap on pair. Tap on allow. Tap on next. And here uh, we can copy the settings from the previous devices. So if you had any devices connected to your account, uh, it probably made a backup and you can 
use the, the settings from the other devices if you want to. I'm gonna use it as default, but if you like to, you can select the device and then tap on transfer uh, settings. And here you can set up a sleeping schedule. This is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep. Basically, it will turn on do not disturb mode when you go to sleep and turn it off when you wake up. And basically, it will stop or rather mute all of the notifications on your watch during the sleep, which hopefully prevent, will prevent you from waking up because of the watch. And you can edit it by tapping on edit, and then you can, come on, change the bedtime, wake time, and select the days on which it should be active. And once you're done, you can tap on next. Here you can allow the calendar access. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications uh, about the events from your calendar on your watch. If you don't care, you can skip it. If you want to use it, tap on allow and then allow full access. Then we have the location permission. This is useful for the local weather, um, tracking your activity on the map and stuff like that. Anything that requires location, basically. And you can skip it or allow it if you want to. Then you can tap next, sync now, uh, finish, and here we have a tutorial how to use the watch. You can skip it or go through it, of course, if you want to. I'm just gonna skip it. Then I can tap on this miss. And here you should see the home page, and on it there should be icon of your watch. And if you tap on uh, more uh, Garmin devices, it will be on the list of devices right here. Okay, and on the watch it will ask you if you want to set up a passcode. You can press the start button to confirm and set it up. I'm just gonna press X because I don't need it. Next we have the text size, so basically you can adjust the size of the text on your watch. I'm gonna just select the default and press start. And you can also select the frequent activities. So basically if you have some preferred activities and you want them to be at the top of the list of activities, you can select them by pressing start. And then you can scroll through the list, look for something you like. And once you find it, uh, let's say popular, open the popular category. I'm gonna check around and maybe road bike. And then you can scroll down and tap on done. Okay, and as, at this point you should see the watch face. It should say connected right here, which means that the devices are paired together. And that's how do it, how do you pair it through the setup process. Now I'm gonna quickly disconnect it from my phone and show you how to do it through the settings, uh, which is going to be a lot quicker because uh, we already did like a lot of stuff, like allow the permissions, and we don't need to deal with it again. We installed the applications, application rather than applications, um, and stuff like that. So basically, a lot of uh, things will be already taken care of, so it will go a lot quicker. And now we can go to Bluetooth on our iPhone and remove it from here. Okay, so the watch is unpaired, and let's say you want to pair it with your phone, and you have already application installed. You simply open the Garmin Connect, you go to your watch, uh, press the middle button, press and hold it to open the menu, then scroll through the menu, look for the watch settings, uh, find the connectivity, and tap on it, and here find the phone option, and tap on it. Then tap on per phone, it will enter the pairing mode, you will see the QR code again, now you can go to the app, and like I said before, if it doesn't start searching immediately, tap on more, Garmin devices, and then tap on add device. It will start searching, it should detect your watch if it's in pairing mode, and you can tap on connect it, and go, go through the all uh, stuff like we did before for the setup. This one will be a bit quicker because we won't need to deal with the permissions and stuff like that. So let's go through it. Okay, finish. Next. Think now, finish. Skip this the tutorial, not now. Got it. And now we have our watch right here. It is paired. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.